Lay off, Chewie. Can't you see I'm busy? Tough titty. Watch your language. Grub. Oh, I, I can't take much more of this, can you? Can, just please, just... I, I gotta finish this speech for the lecturing tour. It's all about you. Just give me some peace and quiet or I'll tell them. I'll tell them the truth. Don't get cute with me. I made you and I can break you. Then go ahead and break me. You think it's easy living with the guilt? I cut the crap, bring on the meat. Funny you would eat me. Funny you touch a mouse or flies, but no, you're so particular. Come on, Crailbone, feed me. I ain't Ed since Mushnik, and that was a week ago. J just hold that one more night, can you? Life magazine will be here in the morning to snap our photo. And then you'll find me somebody. And then you'll never be hungry again, I promise. Mmm, shout out, Crailbone. Much more than you drive me crazy. Stop squalling. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Seymour. What's the matter with you? It's the matter with me. Don't you know that I, I, I think that if I don't feed it, it'll die soon. That I'm trying to think of some way, something, someone. Uh, Seymour, you're hysterical. I don't get the big deal about a little plant food. When did Mr. Bushnick say he'd be back? Huh? You know, in that letter he left you, saying he'd gone to his sister's house? In Czechoslovakia, right, right, right. He could be gone a very long time. Uh, Audrey, can I ask you a question? Oh, anything. Well, just suppose for a minute there'd never been an Audrey too. That, that, that I, I was a nothing again, a, a nobody. Would, would you still like me? I'd still love you, Seymour. Then it's settled. What's settled? And bullets and rat boys and enemy machete. Right after Life magazine gets up tomorrow morning to snap our photo, you know, bites the dust. A gun? A rat poison knife? See, well, I don't get it. You're scaring me. It's nothing to be scared of. We'll go away from here. We'll go to that little development you always dreamed about. Nice little house, nice little car. No plants. No plants at all. You're talking so peculiar, Seymour. Uh, I'll, I'll explain everything to you tomorrow, Audrey. Just, just go home. Please, just, just go home. I can't leave you in this condition. Don't worry about me, Audrey. Don't worry about anything. Good night, Seymour. Good night. Circumstances. Feed me. I, I, I will not, so st stop asking. Feed me. I can't take much more of this. I'm going to run down the corner and get you a, a, a pound of rare roast beef. Maybe that'll tide you over till Life Magazine gets here in the morning. Uh uh, no way. Look, it, it's my final offer. Yes or no? Hmm. Well, it's better than nothing. Fine, good, great. And don't think you're getting dessert. <laughs> Yeah. 
Across the nation. Why, pretty soon every household in America will have one. I've got a truck waiting outside. If you don't mind, we can start taking leaf cuttings right now. Can you imagine, boy, auntie tools everywhere. Why, with the right advertising, this could be bigger than hula hoops. Bigger than hula hoops? Much bigger. Every household in America, thousands of you eating. That's what you've had in mind all along, isn't it? No shit, Sherlock. We're not talking about one hungry plant here. We're talking about world conquest. And I want to thank you. You're a monster. And so am I. Feed me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, oh, oh. 